Hello everyone, this is me, Sadia here, and I'm back with the monthly reads for the month of April 2022. This reading is going to be for the sign of uh, uh, Libra. So let's see, Libra, what is coming up for you in the month of April? I will be adding Oracle cards and uh, color cards as well in this read, so stay tuned. And uh, before I dive into the read, let me remind you, it is a general read. It may, it may not resonate with everyone out there. So always pick the signs and messages that resonate and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also check out the services that I offer as well. So let's see, what can you expect in the month of uh, April? Seven of Swords. Queen of Swords. Five of Cups. Wow, I just see you getting strong here. Eight of Swords and King of Arms. And in the deck, we do have Nine of Pentacles. Yes, I do see that you are fighting uh, your own fears, your own inner demons around the connection, around the situation that you are dealing. Um, I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a very beautiful month overall. Why? Because I do see that you are getting stronger. You're getting, um, you know, uh, clarity. You are, you know, basically fighting your inner demons, your inner obsessions about certain, certain things that you were having in your life. Uh, and I feel like, you know, there is a specific someone in your love life right now who had been non-committal to you. I do see you getting stronger around that person and that connection too. If you think that this connection is adding toxicity in your life, you will feel that you are strong enough to leave this person behind. You don't want to stay stuck in a situation which is disappointing you right now. So I do see that you are definitely choosing your happiness yourself right now more than anything else because you believe that anything that makes you, you know, uh, feel bad, makes you feel down, makes you feel kind of, you know, uh, upset. That is not worth you or your time. So I do see that you are definitely getting a stronger uh, position in your life right now because you are deciding things for yourself based on your own happiness. You don't want to depend on other people for, you know, for your happiness, for your excitement, for your love life. You want it to be like, you know, more about you as a center of attention for yourself rather than putting another person on a pedestal, the one who doesn't even deserve you at times. That's what you're going to feel like. Because I feel like the person that you're currently dealing with is a non-committal person. And that's something which has been keeping you stuck in your life for quite some time. Now, I feel like in the month of uh, April, I do see that you are going to decide that no, you are not going to go through that phase again in your life. Now, for some of you, you might have been having on and off with your person because the because the way you had kind of, you know, maybe you had a strong faith in this connection. Maybe you had a strong belief that this person will change or will commit to you. I do see that this connection had been giving you nothing, even though you do have love for this person. But yes, that doesn't mean that you allow this person to treat you like a shit. Which is the reason why I do see you valuing yourself. I do see you standing tall for what you believe, for what you deserve. And you are not going to be sticking around with this person. You would choose to walk away, putting an end to the current situation, which is definitely unhealthy for you to stay in. I do see you walking away from this person who is non-committal. Let's see more cards here. Yes, um, uh, King of Wands, we do have Eight of Cups. So I do see you walking away from this person because you feel that's the perfect choice, perfect thing for you to do right now because this person had been adding nothing good to your life but had been keeping you stuck, had been making you feel bad, had been making you feel upset, disappointed in yourself as well. This person had brought you to the point where you started feeling bad about yourself. You started feeling that maybe you don't deserve anything good. And I feel like, you know, now as you decide, no, I'm not going to let that happen again. You are choosing to walk away from this person. And that's what, yes, you're putting an end to that, you know, toxicity that this person brought to your life. You do have the death card here. Uh, and I feel like, you know, you are going to start believing that, no, you deserve something better. With the temperance, I feel like, you know, you are going to start finding peace and uh, start trying to maintain a healthy, balanced life in your life where you're not to focus on your love life or a specific someone. You are going to decide that, no, you've got to work towards your happiness and your happiness lies within you. I do see you spending a lot of time to with yourself in the month of April as well. Then we do have the devil. I feel like you know, the, the obsession that you had about this person or for this connection, you are going to love yourself now with that much uh, obsession about and for you right now. You're not going to give in to any connection, anything right now. You are going to be too focused on yourself because you are going to start believing um, that you deserve happiness. So if somebody is snatching away your happiness, you are not going to let that person in your life. If somebody can add something good to your life, you are going to let that person in. 
But yes, you have fought that inner struggle that you were having around this connection and now you are becoming a warrior because I do see you succeed in that, you know, in a conflict that you had with yourself about this connection and the way you were being treated with, by this person is something that you learned a lot from and i feel like you know now you know what is the right thing for you to do we do have the moon coming in i feel like you know you will be spending a lot of time thinking contemplating the things you did wrong the things that you could do right from now onwards i feel like you know you will be too much thinking about those things that you can make things right right now in your life underneath the deck we do have the ten of souls underneath that we do have the page of pentacles five of pentacles and ten of wands i feel like you know um I do see you contemplating a lot in the month of uh, April, but um, yes, I feel like, you know, even though I do see that you will be having offers coming in, even though maybe this person would come in to tell you that, look, I, I'm ready to commit and stuff, I don't see you ready to take any offer uh, because I feel like you've been through a lot. You would want to spend some time with yourself, healing yourself before you jump into any wrong decision again. And I feel like this is going to be ideal for you to do so. Love yourself, value yourself, pamper yourself. And um, don't rush into anything right now because it's very important for you to heal yourself. Which, which, which you know, maybe for majority of you, you have been with this person for quite some time. And maybe they have always made you feel so bad around this connection that you, you start feeling, you know, thinking low about yourself. Right now is the right time for you to walk away from the situation and start valuing yourself and understanding where did you make that mistake where you started putting this person on the pedestal and ignoring your own self ignoring your self-worth so i feel like you know it's a beautiful time for you to start a new journey for yourself where you put yourself as on the pedestal where you take yourself as the superstar of your life and you don't have to set in for anything less than what you deserve and desire so let's see some uh, messages from your person let's see what do they wish to say to you now as you walk away, I do see you walking away here. Let me take one more card. You are special for me, but I will never speak my heart out. This person claims that you are special to them, but at the same time, it's nothing meaningful because the way they have been, the way they are acting right now as well, or in the month of April as well, I don't see that, you know, if, if you mean a lot to this person, they would show it. They would behave like that, but this is what they are saying. I promise I'm, I will marry you and only you. Now, this person, maybe, maybe as you leave this person, as you choose to walk away from this person, they would start feeling that they know they have to be with you, they have to marry you. But I don't see you taking any offer from this person because underneath that, we do have four of cups as well. And I don't see that you are ready to take any offer, any connection, uh, you know, from this person. I don't see that you are taking, or at least um, in the month of April, you are not going to do that. You are not going to have them back in your life. I thought it was the right thing to do that time, but I was wrong i feel like you know whatever they were doing where by by being non-committal they felt that it was the right thing for for them to do that time but now when they are losing you maybe they're going to start feeling bad and that they're going to start feeling the need to talk to you the need to be with you but it's just going to be too late is what i'm picking up for majority of them i feel like you know you are definitely choosing to walk away you're not going to sticking around for them to treat you bad again so let's see what colors are going to be lucky for you in the month of uh, april let's see so we do have our two colors, which are red, free yourself from pain. Number two, that's exactly what you are doing. By walking away from this person, you are freeing yourself from pain that this person had brought into your life. Then we have chocolate, nourish your body and soul. Number 13, again, valuing yourself, nourishing yourself is going to be the aim for you in the month of uh, April. And I feel like in for majority of you, you are definitely choosing to walk away from the pain, suffering that this person brought to your life. Chocolate and red color is going to be lucky for you in the month of uh, april so let's see some oracle cards what else do you need to do to have what you desire in the month of april meditate and contemplate like i said earlier i feel like you know this is going to be ideal time for you to do that ideal time to heal yourself ideal time for you to decide that never ever you are gonna you know give in to anything which is less than what you deserve and desire so that's pretty much it coming up for you for this read if it helped you to like and subscribe till i do the next read for you guys take care bye